What's up everybody? It's Donovan from the Account Resurrected channel. Hope you're doing good today. I was going over the uh, the headlines on CNN, or excuse me, it wasn't CNN, it was actually when I was checking my email on my Yahoo and I came across a headline on there that said, Dave Mustaine endorses Rick Santorum. And that was the number one trending news article at the time when I went on there, and I think it still is. And I was so flabbergasted when I when I actually saw that that I decided well I'm gonna go read this article even though I don't tend to go to the Washington Post for information generally I you know wanted to check it out and as I got there I started reading these little tidbits of this interview he had done and uh, it was uh, basically just a couple snippets and so I had to find the original interview but I found it the interview can be found at, let me see here, musicradar.com, that's where he actually made the interview. And in this interview, it's funny, in the, the first few articles I came across which are referring to this interview, it makes no mention of Ron Paul whatsoever, and so giving Dave Mustaine the benefit of the doubt, and thinking, well maybe he just doesn't know about Ron Paul, or he doesn't know who he is, but much to my much to my surprise he actually did talk about Ron Paul in the article which is just another example of how you know influential people are talking about Ron Paul whether in a positive or negative light you know you never seem to hear anything about Ron Paul they downplay him so much to the point where people who are really being brainwashed by the mass media he's just not going to be on their radar or they're just going to listen to the talking heads and come to the conclusion that he's dangerous, you know, and uh, he's an isolationist, which we all know isn't really the case, the way they paint it out to be. And uh, I start looking at this, and he says, looking at the Republican candidates, I've got to tell you, I was floored the other day to see Mitt Romney's five boys had a hundred million dollar trust fund. That's right, you heard that, a hundred million dollar trust fund. And so you got to ask yourself, if this guy is making a trust fund for a hundred million dollars for his five boys, is he really even in touch with 99% of the American citizens who are out there? I mean, just based on that, is there any possible way he could know the daily struggles and strife of people, of the regular people like you and me, people looking for answers, people who are sitting back and watching this and going and just floored at what's going on. I, there is there any connection to him whatsoever? Now let me continue. You know, he says, where does a guy make that much money? So there's some questions there. And watching Newt Gingrich, I was pretty excited for a while, but now he's just gone back to being that person that everyone said he was, that angry little man. I still like him, but I don't think I'd vote for him. So okay, strike two. He's saying, I like Newt Gingrich. He's saying, I love Rick Santorum. And here's the part where he starts talking about Ron Paul. He says, this is, this is pretty funny of a comment. He says, Ron Paul, you know, I heard somebody say he was like insecticide. 98% of it's inert gases, but it's 2% left that will kill you. What that means is that he'll make total sense for a while and then he'll say something so way out of it it negates everything else. I like the guy because he knows how to excite the youth of America and to fill them in on some things, but when he says stuff like, we're the Taliban, I'm sorry, Congressman Paul, but I'm nothing like the Taliban. Now, I've seen quite a few interviews with Ron Paul, and I'm not saying at some point he didn't make some correlation there, I was trying to metaphorically, you know, put us in the shoes of the people on the other side of the coin you know but I, I can't really say I've ever heard him make that analogy I, I've never seen him make that correlation before I don't know if it's his PR people or whatever that told him hey never say that again and I missed it or something like that but even with that being said I'd like to hear the context in which that statement was made it would probably make absolute perfect sense to me anyway and a presidential candidate much like anyone else in this world whether it be your wife or your children or best friends we are all different in some way there is not any two of us that are exactly the same 
even if there's such a thing as soulmates, you've got to understand that there is going to be things that aren't exact between a male and a female soulmate or no soulmate. There is, we are all different different frequencies on this band. There's not a one of us that's exact. Even when you're looking at identical twins, identical twins, even though they think almost exactly alike, exhibit different traits and adapt in a certain way to differentiate themselves mentally most of the time. So, you know, for you to have a qualm with just one thing he said to take all these years, you know, all these years of proven track record of him fighting for constitutional rights and free speech and small businesses and just non-interventionism, putting an end to undeclared wars, going back to sent like to to common sense for you to take one single quote which the media probably blew, blew out of proportion I just find surprising although I'm, I never cease to be surprised by Dave Mustaine he openly he openly discriminates against homosexual people against immigrants coming over the border and I understand I understand people's fear that having immigrants coming in is destroying the value of our dollar and that's exactly what the government would like you to think even though every time the season comes it seems the doors wide on open you know what I mean no one's stopping the money going back it's it's all part of the plan you gotta understand that our relatives immigrated here there, there's not a one of us that were born our family line was born on this soil unless you're a Native American and you're watching this chances are or I suppose you know Mexican Americans could make that claim more so than we can and so you've got to look at it from their perspective too is it really them that's killing the dollar is it not the fact that we're just printing a bunch of fake money and we're, I mean we're printing it at record pace to pay for wars it's like silly monopoly money that people are still taking although it's coming to the point where people are seeing a lack of desire for our dollar and that's been happening for quite a while but I mean is that the problem is it not the big banks is it not the Fed is it not these congressmen have sold us out is it not these corporations that move in and pay us an unlivable wage you know you could work 40 hours a week as hard as you can at these jobs that are terrible jobs I mean they should pay you more to work at McDonald's why are they paying you less like people are like well that's for people with no skills I'm like you must, you got to be kidding me. To work at McDonald's, you should pay someone $20 an hour just so that they can tell their friends, yeah, I work for McDonald's or Walmart. I mean, you should take $20 an hour minimum to work at that place. You know it's, it's destroying everything. There's almost no American goods. It, it's all crap. Every piece of it's crap. And so, sorry, I went off on a tangent. Let me, let me move on you know he says earlier in the election I was completely oblivious as to who Rick Santorum was but when the dude went home to be with his daughter when she was sick that was very commendable also just watching how he hasn't gotten into these horrible horrible attack ads like Mick Romney <laughs> done against Newt Gingrich and then the volume at which Newt has gone back at Romney you know I think Santorum has some presidential qualities and I'm hoping that if it does come down to it, we'll see a Republican in the White House and that it's Rick Santorum. So congratulations, Dave. You know, I really like the Rust in Peace album. I thought it was rad. I thought over the years that you were open-minded. I'm really surprised you were a guest on the Alex Jones Show, although I don't endorse the Alex Jones Show. He's the biggest fear monger you'll ever run into in your life. And the days I spent when I sit there and wake up in the day and listen to his radio station as excited as I get. I mean, it's literally a mind killer to sit there and listen to Alex for more than two seconds, really. Just seeing him and his voice now creates just feelings of like anxiety and shock. I just, he, it, it's best to stay away from him. But with that being said, just being on there, I assume that Dave Mustaine, you know, over the years is applying these questions he's had and this knowledge and stuff and trying to make a difference for us here in in the movement if you want to call it the truth movement whatever you want to call it the movement for truth ultimately I I'm so so shocked 
I, I, I don't know how to endorse you anymore, Dave Mustaine. It's over. Like, I can't take anymore. And it talks about in the article, too, how, I mean, they, they correlate, he correlates homosexuality with bestiality. It's like, I get it if you, I, I mean, I feel sorry for you if you really don't take the time to think through, if you're a Christian fundamentalist, that God created these people. And why, why, did, he, why did he create people this particular way? If everything's a reflection you know, of God, then why, why did he make these people the way he did? Just so you could ridicule and torment them and everything else? He'd, he'd purposefully make a human being that was condemned to hell upon birth because that's, that's what love is? Even you guys need to step back and think, question the credibility of some of the some of those statements in the Bible. You know, this stuff was rewritten and it's way out of context. It's put in human terms, and humans are flawed. These can't truly be the words of God. I. The message of love is the message. You're either vibrating with love or fear. Now I wish I could vibrate with love all the time because I spend almost all my time vibrating in fear and. Sp you, spending every waking moment trying to escape from it and trying to vibrate it at a higher level. Can we at least please just let people be free and be happy? You don't think that they, they, they feel tormented all the time by the fact that they're born a certain way and most people aren't that way and they don't sit there and, and put that on themselves? You, you, you can only imagine how hard that would probably be for them and I think most of the time, people in that community represent themselves in a very positive fashion. I'm thankful for that. You know, unlike gang members and other parts of counterculture that you know just create violence and death and negativity all the time. You know, why don't you just let them be free? Let them let them do what they want to do. Why won't people let us do what we want to do? Pursue our happiness. That's the whole point. None of us know what's really going on, what what's going to happen with the planet and all this stuff, but can't we at least just accept that we're all part of it? We're all the same? That why are, why do we answer to these leaders and stuff like that? Why, what's the point of all this? Why? You know, I, I, I guess I'll never understand the extent to which people just won't stand up for the fact that no one's better than you. We're all the same, each and every one of us every color race creed each each and every one of us is the same you know even the people we hate they're a reflection they're a part of us we're all part of that same band so why judge dave mustaine you know why why vote for someone with a hateful you know he, he in one hand he says i like rick because he flies home to be with his sick daughter a, that's a PR stunt anyway i mean really sit and think about it i maybe people people on his team were saying don't do it don't do it you know we're deep into the election blah blah i am almost positive that someone said hey we could put a slant on this we could show how how much he cares about the family and about you know think about it, it that's nonsense for you to want to vote for someone based on that he could have killed a thousand people but shit he flew home to go see his daughter let's vote him in dave mustaine epic fail peace you guys i love you